All right, KH12 hosted two nights of debates for the leading candidates for governor and lieutenant governor. And joining us this morning to break it down is our political analyst, Dr. John Hart. Good morning, Dr. Hart. Good How to see you. Doing? Long time no see. Long nice time to be no back see. in the studio. Now, Let's focus in on the lieutenant governor's race because you say this is the race to keep your eyes on? Yeah, several reasons. Number one is there's a lot of undecided still out there. Let's face it, this is the LG race, it's not the marquee race. Uh, so lots of undecided, uh, four strong candidates, all within the margin of error, meaning any one of them could win at this point. Nobody's out of it yet because a lot of people simply haven't made up their minds. They haven't looked at this race. The LG is important. It doesn't have a lot of statutory power, but it's a straight uh, springboard job. In other words, Brian Schatz, our mm -hmm. senator, he was the lieutenant governor. Uh, Josh Green, probably our next governor. He's the lieutenant governor. Uh, so it's a very important position in terms of giving someone the opportunity to go on. Now, of course, you look at the candidates. We had Ikeka Anderson, Sylvia Liu, Keith Almamia, Sherry Menor, McNamara. Yeah. What was your biggest takeaway from each candidate? Well, I think they all had their personas on display. I still think that these kind of forums are our last best chance to get behind the advertisements, the controlled events, and see who these people might be and what they would actually do. So if you look at Sylvia Luke, she's the head of the finance committee, and she's good at details, and you saw that in this debate. Ikaika Anderson, a uh, former uh, representative, uh, much improved over when I first saw him, uh, and I think he will continue to improve in terms of uh, his speaking and his, his grasp of the issues. Keith Amamiya, a lot of name recognition. Keith ran for mayor, mm -hmm. and if he can command the kind of votes that he had in a losing uh, run for mayor, he could well win this race. Sherry Menor, uh, Sherry is the head of the Chamber of Commerce here in Hawaii. So uh, both her and Keith are positioning themselves kind of as outsiders, where obviously uh, Luke and Anderson, they're, they're experienced politicians. She asked some of the most pointed questions, and given where she is, that's exactly what you would expect her to do at this point in the campaign. And. I would think she would continue to do that. Now, you talk about a lot of undecided voters still out there for the LG's race. How do you see this race playing out? Is there any surprises, a dark horse that could surprise people? Well, um, uh, Sylvia Luke has a lot of endorsements and, and a good amount of money. Um, Ikaika Anderson picked up the PAC that functionally represents the Carpenters Union. They're a big player. If they want to write a big check, they can outspend anybody. And so that is a, could be a major shift here. Again, like we talked about before, uh, Keith Amamiya maybe has the best name recognition from the mayoral run. If he can get the kind of votes he got last time. Uh, Sherry Menor is a dark horse, but again, no one is out of this race. And like I said, if she continues to be aggressive in these debates like she was in the one the other night, we could see a shift there. There you have it, Dr. John Hart, and he will be sticking around because he loves being on our morning show so much that he's going to be breaking down the governor's race coming up at 7.30. So we appreciate your time. Hang out, drink some coffee, and we'll talk very soon.